Is one of your KPIs to clean up your CMDB and make it more accurate? Are you seeking a summary view of everything that's stored within your CMDB? In this video, I'm going to show you a simple example of how to build out a quick summary view of how accurate your CMDB is. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Kirk Penn and I'm the Principal Advisory Consultant at Service Management Specialists. I'm an ITIL expert and for the past 15 years I've been helping organisations to improve and uplift their IT service management capabilities. I'm passionate about seeing organisations improve and I know that the CMDB in particular is a very important aspect of your foundations for ITSM. So what are your CMDB targets? Ultimately, you want to get to 100%, but it may take you some time to be able to get there. So let's say you want to target 60% accuracy within 3 months, 80% within 6 months, and it's going to take you 12 months to get to 100%. Um, but you do ultimately want to be able to get to 100% to ensure that you're getting the most value from your CMDB and that it's, an actual, that it's a valuable piece of uh, software that you're constantly using, uh, both in your operations but also in your strategic planning as well. So let's now have a look at an example of how to get an, an accurate snapshot of your CMDB. So in this case, uh, we're looking at our customers or our business users, and we provide from an IT perspective IT services. Now again, in this example, I've put some, uh, some simple domains that we typically use. So domains are networks, infrastructure, applications and systems and workplace devices. Your organization may have more, may have less, However, in this, in this case, we've really just targeted those four key domains. Now, if you'd like to understand how those IT services align to what our businesses, our business users are consuming, then we've actually done a quick video as well uh, called How to Align IT in the Business uh, Using CMDB and IT Services. So check that out on our YouTube page. All right, uh, now let's go back to our example. If we think about those domains, what sits underneath those domains is a series of IT service components. Now, there's a number of these that are used to roll up and be combined to deliver the services. But what's really important is that we capture important information around each of these IT service components. Now, this is typically called attributes within our CMDB. But each of these attributes needs to be specific, needs to be uh, it needs to be fit for purpose for our organization. And where do we capture all that information? Well, we capture it in our CMDB. So let's just take this a little bit further and be a bit more specific about our individual service. So validating and capturing the right attributes within your CMDB and using your single system of record. So in this case, if you think about an IT service, in this case, it's, uh, it's corporate Wi-Fi. And underneath that, uh, the most predominant uh, IT domain is networks. And the IT service component, whilst there's many, in this case is, uh, is a router. And what we want to be able to do is capture the right information about that router so it's more meaningful for us, for us to be able to manage more appropriately. Now, when we, when we stood up our CMDB or we took our single system record out of the box, um, there was a number of attributes uh, that we could leverage uh, for, for a specific router. And there was actually 10 uh, attributes. But in this case, uh, we actually have outsourced the router management to a service provider. So we want a couple of additional attributes. So it's really important that we start our process to understand whether those attributes that we have within our CMDB are relevant and that they're fit for purpose for our organization. Many times as consultants, we come in and we look at a CMDB and we get overwhelmed and we know the organization is overwhelmed with the amount of attributes. And often these are just not relevant for that particular organization. So we want to make sure that each of those attributes mean something for the organization. Great. So let's now look at an example of a snapshot. And in this case, if we think about a uh, network. So in this case, we've, uh, we've developed one service called the network service. But again, if we go back to our router example, we know that the amount of attributes per router is actually 12. Okay. And in this case, at this point in time, on the 1st of the 6th, 2019, we've actually got four routers stored within our service. Uh, it's our CMDB. Now, if we think about these 12 attributes uh, and these four records recorded, 
then the number of potential uh, total attributes is 48. But at this stage, we've only completed our attributes for 34. So that gives us a total percentage complete of 70%, and we've still got 30% to go, okay, which is here. Now, um, what I'm also saying is that uh, we may actually increase the amount of routers okay, over time. So as that increases, so will the amount of attributes. So it's important that we continue to keep that updated to 70%. So that gives us an understanding that in terms of our routers, we're at 70% uh, for, our, for our snapshot of what's in our CMDB. Let's now have a look at infrastructure. Now, in this case, we've, uh, we've actually defined that there's one service. And in terms of our servers, uh, we've got a whole heap of these. So that's uh, 2448 servers. And again, the total attributes, 13,148 and the percentage complete is at 60%. So this is where our focus needs to be. Um, now this may be accurate in terms of the total amount of records. However, we haven't actually got all the attributes that are meaningful back for our organization. Let's have a look at uh, applications. And again, we've uh, defined that we've got 19 services, but there's 227 applications, which gives us a total amount of attributes at 4313. At this stage, the percentage complete is at 33%, so it's not actually looking too good. So we've got some work to do in this domain here, and really looking at uh, getting those attributes completed. But before we do that, as I showed you before, we want to ensure that those attributes are meaningful and that they mean something for the business. So quite a lot of work to do in the application space. One of the things that's really important here is, uh, as you can see, the types of the different types of domains that we're working through have different types of attributes that we need to that we need to capture as well. So it's really important that they are specific for each of the domains. And finally, workplace devices. So again, um, everything, uh, all of our, our, our service components from workstation all the way through to printers. Um, in this case, we know that we've got 167 printers and the attributes per printer is 20. So it gives us a total of three and we're currently at 43% of completing those. So uh, we've got some work to do in, in actually capturing those. So again, this gives you an understanding. The total workplace devices domain is currently at 55% uh, complete. So some work to do over the coming months. Let's now roll this up into a view uh, across all the domains. So again, if you can start to see here, uh, we've got uh, the 57% for uh, networks, 60% for infrastructure, 33% uh, applications and systems, and workplaces at 55. So the other thing here I've done, and you can actually build this out yourself depending on where you want to get to, but ideally you want to get to 100%, which is your green, and at the moment um, we've actually got a majority of ours looking at amber, and uh, just our applications and systems looking at red. So really important view this one. The other view in which I've put together quickly is uh, just basically how we're progressing quarter on quarter. So quarter one, two, three, and four. Now in this case, we haven't actually reached quarter four. So I put a quick line there. You can start to see here as an example, um, the networks domain is actually progressing quite nicely from quarter to quarter and it's showing good progress. Again, if updating and keeping accurate your CMDB as a KPI, this is a really good indicator to be able to show um, your progress. Again, if you go into Q4, it's going to look like that. And the same here for infrastructure, again showing good progress uh, in terms of um, you know what we're doing quarter on quarter in terms of capturing attributes, and it may end up looking a bit like that there. Okay, so finally, let's just have a look at the question of the day. How accurate is your CMDB? And what techniques have you used to provide an accurate snapshot of the view of your CMDB? It can certainly help with um, you know, showing progress against KPIs. So if you have uh, developed some techniques, then share that in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please click on the like button and consider subscribing to Service Management Specialist channel. We're committed to helping digital and business leaders become more successful with their improvement initiatives, bringing you weekly tips, tools and insights across your processes, people and collaboration. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.